All right, hey, welcome back to the channel, guys. I've got something cool right here. This is gonna be our new little build on the truck. As you know, we carry uh, Anchor F2000 power station in our truck. That takes up quite a bit of room in the cab of the truck from you know the platform I have built in the back to carry all our gear. So Lee Time reached out to me. They wanted to send me the 12, new 12.8 volt, 100 amp hour, slim lithium battery. Check that out. Now that is cool. I don't care who you are, that is cool. They went ahead and sent it out to me and I purchased the 2000 watt inverter and a DC to DC charger, because here's my master plan. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to mount the 12 volt battery on the back wall of my truck. We removed our back seat, so now we have a platform with a back wall. I'm gonna mount this 12 volt battery on the wall with the inverter and a DC to DC charger. That'll keep the battery charged up. So that will supply power to my fridge, our devices, everything inside the truck, and it'll stay charged up while we're driving. Kind of, you know, my whole intention was to do the whole build as a video, but as you know from my previous video, transmission went out in my truck, so it's in a transmission shop right now, and I won't have it back for a few weeks. I think it's worth just going ahead, let's take a look. What I wanna do, I wanna open it up and take a look at the inside of it. Let's jump into it. All right, here's the quick specs of the battery. You know your nominal voltage is gonna be 12.8 volts, rated capacity 100 amp hours, rated energy 1,280 watt hours. The charging voltage is 14.4 volts plus or minus 0.2 volts. Max continuous charge, discharge current is 100 amp. Max continuous output, power 1,280 watts. All right, here looking at the battery, what you're gonna get when you open the box up, you're going to get your main product manual for your battery. What I like about Lead Time Man, they include an absolute wealth of information on your battery. It goes through a pretty extensive directions and explanation on how to parallel or series or how many batteries you can have in parallel or series, all the different configurations to put it in. Or one of the better guides or manuals that come with a battery that I've seen. Lead Time's really got their stuff together. And also comes with a little quick start guide as well. And your wood screws and inserts to mount it into whatever wall or whatever you want to mount it into. And it also is gonna come with uh, two terminal caps, your red and black. And looking at the terminals right here, man, I really like the terminals. They're nice terminals, M8 bolts, screwed in. It's kind of like a server rack terminal. And you're gonna have on each side of the battery, you can see right here, that's your mounting legs. That's these legs I was talking about. They mount on each side of the battery, like so. These two I got mounted on but the other two go on the other side. And you can also put them on the end right here. There's a place to mount them on the end if you wanna do them that way. Say you can't mount them on one side, you can put them right here. Very nice, very nice. Really love the slim feature of it, man. Absolutely love it. I think this is gonna work out perfect on the build that I'm wanting to do. What you know, I've got the 2000 watt inverter, so that means I'm gonna to have to parallel another battery to this. So it looks like I'm gonna be going on Lee Time's website and purchasing another one of these batteries but it's gonna save me a whole lot of room in my truck cab for storing stuff, man. I wanna have that big power station sitting in there. So further ado, man, let's get this sucker opened up and see what it looks like inside. Now, I gotta put my glasses on for this. Pulling the lid off for the first time, here we go. Forgot one screw in there. There we go, looking at the cover. It's got a nice foam dam right here to keep it sealed against the nice rolled edge right here. That's very nice. Nice heavy metal cover. All right, looking at the inside of the battery. All right, looks like we're gonna have a lead time BMS, hold 100 amp. It's their proprietary, I guess. Uh, they make their own BMSs. Looks like a nice eight gauge positive cable. There's your negative. There's your temperature sensors glued in. Now I'm not gonna pull it apart to let you see. Looks like we got four cells laid down right here on their sides, four battery cells. Positive coming over to here to here. Really clean install. I mean, everything looks nice. I mean, look down in there. You got um, your bus bars going from battery to battery with expansion in the middle. They're raised. Kind of to be expected with lead time, you know. They really have uh, built themselves a name for quality products. So pretty much, you know, I, I'm not a battery expert. I've been in a little while. I know what I'm looking at. But uh, I, I like everything I'm looking at. Nothing is jumping out at me, glaring. Cable management looks good. All your balance leads look good on it. I mean, everything is secure, nice. Nothing's gonna jostle around and come apart. I'm not gonna pull it apart because uh, that's not what I do. And I do intend on using it. So we're gonna drive around and travel with it with us in the car. I don't want nothing to happen. So I think we were pretty safe just pulling the cover off and giving everybody a look at how they actually put this together.
All right, we got the lid back on. Now looking at the battery, including the terminals, 22 inches long, and you're looking at 11 inches wide, and the thickness of the battery, two and a quarter thick on the battery. I really see this battery coming in handy for people, overland travel, back of a truck, mounted on the side of the bed, pretty much anywhere you want to put it, man. The slim form factor of it, absolutely love it. It's really going to help people out. One of the things I don't like about it, I wish it was Bluetooth. I would pay an extra $20, $30 to have a Bluetooth battery. Where this battery will typically be installed in the overland scenario in a vehicle, you know, you're not gonna have a lot of room for other equipment like a uh, shunt and all this other stuff. You want the minimal amount of equipment to mount. You're gonna have already have an inverter mount and a DC to DC. That might be all the room people have to mount the stuff. So if they had a Bluetooth capability in it, man, that would have been awesome. It would have been over the top for me. But uh, I think it's gonna work out great. I'm gonna have plenty of room. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna mount two of them with the inverter and a DC to DC. I'll have two of these batteries mounted in there. But overall right now, love it, love the battery, love the feet, mounting feet on it, the metal case, absolutely great. Stay tuned for an upcoming video. When I get my truck back, we will get this mounted in there and I'll have that on video as well. Show you how everything turns out, how it operates, how it functions. Uh, really excited about it, ready to get this done. That being said, uh, we're gonna end it here. I will leave uh, links in the description where you can go check it out. If you feel like you wanna get one for yourself, get one, man. Like and subscribe to our channel. Uh, we do overland RV travel. Really uh, gotten into solar equipment, man. We got a huge solar system on our camper. Try to bring y'all some interesting content. That being said, thank y'all for tuning in. We'll see you later.